Good everybody, Matt Guy here, just uh, spending a little bit of time with you in the classroom on the whiteboard. Um, and I want to talk to you today about unrealistic expectations. It's something I'm I talk all the time to and I'm very strong with my students about this. Because golf is very, very hard, okay? And so I think most golfers from beginners all the way to elite professionals, um, I think have unrealistic expectations. Now, that causes problems in the game, okay? And what it means is that you generally expect that you can do something repeatedly that maybe you probably can't, okay? So even for a, a golfer out there who's off an 18 handicap, um, who's having an expectation that I'll make some pars today, well, really, we should be hoping we make some pars, but we shouldn't be expecting it because we're off 18. So in theory, we should be making 18 bogeys to play to our handicap, right? Um, and if you actually went out there with the hope to make some pars and a good strategy, you might make some. I wanna just share a little um, graph here for you and, and give you this little bit of wisdom here to help you with golf and how amazing the sport is and how difficult the sport is so that hopefully you can lower your expectations and perform better. I know that sounds weird, but that's what we're looking for. So if I draw a right angle here, we know a right angle has 90 degrees in through here, right? If I split that, in half, roughly. Okay, I'm just gonna roughly do this, right? Now we're at 45. All right, if I split that again, roughly, you know, bear with me. All right, we're at 22.5, okay? And we'll keep going. All right, so we're gonna split that in half. And we're gonna say we're, it's 11.75, but we'll just say roughly 12. And if I split that in half again, we're down to roughly six. And I split that in half again. Oh, now we're down to three. It's getting tough with the pen. Okay, but if I split that in half again through the middle here, oh, it's a bit wobbly, sorry. 1.5 degrees from this original 90 that we had, okay? Now why I'm showing you this is that 1.5 degrees is this tiny little space here, okay? And yet, if your club face is 1.5 degrees open or 1.5 degrees closed, exponentially, it can make your golf ball either go that way or that way. And if we have a path that's 1.5 degrees left of the target line with a club face that's 1.5 degrees right, we're going to have bigger curvature bigger curvature and the ball exponentially the longer the golf club you get is going to go wider and wider offline as well okay so this just shows you how hard the game is because we can miss it by the smallest of margins 1.5 degrees and we're in trouble okay so what i want you, what i want you to know from this is that the, the golf is really really tough and the best in the world and they use this machine called trackman which is a phenomenal piece of equipment I love it, I've got one myself. But what it does is it measures all these different parameters of data. But what it's shown us over the years, and I, look, if someone's done this, and I'm speaking out of line here, please let me know. But I don't believe there's ever been two shots in a row recorded on TrackMan with the, all the data that it spits out with flight and height and spin rate and low point and, um, face to path and face direction, path direction, speed, all these different pieces of data, there's something like 26 pieces of data, no human on the planet has ever hit two golf shots the same in a row. It's impossible, even for the best in the world, right? Yet as amateurs, we're always chasing this perfection and trying to hit the perfect shot all the time. Well, guess what? It ain't possible, people, okay? So let's lower our expectations. And what we should be trying to do is trying to match up, instead of trying to hit a straight shot, what we should be trying to do is have a path that goes left or a path that goes right and have a face that's somewhere out that side as well, slightly less and slightly less. And so subsequently we play with shape. We play with a little fade or we play with a little draw versus the straight shot. Because if we're gonna go straight and we miss it by the 1.5 degrees, even if we've got a perfectly beautiful path that's going down the target line, but the face is open that one degree, guess what? The ball goes to the right, okay? 
So what the best players in the world do is they play with curvature most of the time. Okay, so um, golf's very, very hard. We expect that we can do things better than our talent level a lot of the time. And you know what, that 18 or even a beginner golfer might absolutely jag a seven iron on the green from 150 meters and now they think they can do it all the time. They've got no idea how they did it in the first place, so how could you possibly repeat it? Okay, so um, lower your expectations, take a different approach to golf, and if you're off a handicap of 18, I'm gonna give you a little strategy here. 18 handicap golf, right? On a par three, a par four, and a par five, I want you to go out there the next time you play off your 18 handicap, or even if you're off 25, you can try this, right? On the par threes, I want you to give yourself the freedom to have two hits to get on the green. And then put a solid putting game of two putts with that, okay? And that's the mindset that I want you to take out onto the course. Then if you're gonna have a par four, well guess what, you get three hits and you get two putts and a par five, stand on the tee and think, right, I've gotta get on that green in four hits, I'm gonna have my two putts, and if you do that, guess what? There's your 18 handicap right there, played to, beautifully, easy, stress-free, hopefully. Now, here's the kicker. If you actually have that mindset and that plan and you stay disciplined to that plan, when you go and play golf, there's a high probability that you might hit it on a par three and one, you might hit it on a par four and two, and you might actually hit it on a par three, a par five in three shots, okay? And if you keep your putting the same, guess what? Happy days. And also, you might actually do the two hits, three hits, four hits, and actually jag a putt. And so you're gonna make some pars, so all of a sudden this 18 handicap, without much effort, you might play to 14 that day. But by having this simple, simple principle that you can go ahead and play golf with without putting unrealistic expectations on yourself as an 18 handicapper to try and make pars. All you're doing is coming up with a great, great process to make bogeys. And guess what, some pars, maybe some pars will get in the way and it might be just an amazing day for you out on the course, okay? Remember, golf's hard. Try and play some shapes. It's easier to play golf with shapes versus straight, okay? Go and see someone to help you do that, all right? Come and see a PGA professional, all right? Go and see someone help you. Just remember that this, this tiny little gap here is 1.5 degrees. I can tell you now, if you're 1.5 degrees out with a 110 mile an hour driver swing, it's going in the rough, not the fairway, okay? A good chance anyway. All right, that's it. That's the classroom session over. Hope uh, it makes some sense. It doesn't make any sense to me now looking at it, but if you watch the video, hopefully it all unravels nicely for you. I love golf and I love sharing some stuff with you. I'll be back for more and uh, show you some cool things and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, if you haven't already so that you get all this content coming your way. I don't profess to know everything, but I just love sharing what I maybe know a little bit about and, uh, and changing your mindset, helping golf to be simpler versus harder. And I know that that looks hard, this is achievable, you know, and I've got a bunch of my students who are doing this and finding great freedom in playing golf this way because it's taking pressure off themselves, okay? Uh, and they're not putting as much pressure on themselves standing on the tee of a par three thinking they've got to hit the green when they play off 18. They don't. They've just got to get it down there somewhere, chip it on, two putts, go to the next, okay? Awesome. Stay, stay uh, loving the game. I love it and uh, get out there and get amongst it. And thanks for hitting the subscribe button, as I said, and I uh, look forward to taking you on this little bit of a journey with us with the YouTube. We don't know where it's going, but it'll be fun, that's for sure.